Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the Guns YouTube channel. In today's video, I am playing Mini Royale Trios with two random teammates and in my opinion, it's currently the best game mode in Warzone 2. Warzone 2 right now is in a critical state and I'll be switching to play Resurgence when that comes out in Season 2 as the pacing in the normal BR mode is too slow at the current moment in time. Before we start the gameplay, I'd really appreciate if you could drop a like on the video and if you really want to, subscribe as that will really help grow this channel. Also let me know in the comments below what you thought of the video and if there are any videos you'd like me to do in the future. So let's get straight into the gameplay. So as I'm landing in, I hear the announcer here, enemy person incoming. So I'm just assuming there's another team around me and I hear footsteps. Right now I'm just desperately looking for, looking for a gun so I can engage this team. I can't find a decent gun or I've got a shotgun. Yeah, I can hear footsteps right behind me so I'm just going to try to get away from the situation. And this guy just full sends me and I get an easy kill on this guy. As soon as I kill this guy, I can hear footsteps again. So I'm just trying to get away from the situation and play my life here. If I had a better gun there, I probably would have engaged the second and third players. But as I had a shotgun and a pistol, it weren't the best. And as you notice, I've got 3,600 cash. So right now, I'm just thinking I'm going to go and get my um, loadout gun. And then come back to this building and, and re-engage that team. Luckily, my team wiped that team anyway. So I'm going to get my gun and then try to play from uh, within now Magic City. So I find a free plate vest, which I'm happy they're getting rid of in season two, because it just makes it too random at the start of a game if you haven't got one. Bring the UAV online. The Bring teammate's the UAV, UAV comes in clutch there, so I can see where people are. And the team's on the left there on the rooftop, it's not even worth engaging them. So I've seen this team on my right, and they're all bunched up. What I'm trying to look for here is a pick. I'm looking to try to get one person down, and then give that team... You know, make them make the decision if they're going to res their teammate or if they're just going to leave them to die. So I'm not going to full send this. I'm just going to wait and see if I can get a single pick from these three players and, ha and force them to make a decision with what they're going to do. I get lucky here. That's just a random team just floating off the rooftop. Checking right behind me because I did see two in the air. See, I can't go for my full on that person because I've seen that guy run across and I'm assuming he might be looking through the windows. So I'm just playing the head glitch here to see what I can do. Ultimately, I think I decide it's too risky to push that. There's three of them. I don't know where they are. And I'm going to try to see if I can get a different angle. I see them get in the car and I assume they're going to go for the buy station. In these situations where you're outnumbered, you have to try to anticipate what the other team's going to do. So as you see, they drive towards the buy station. I get them easy pick out from random person and I've seen that guy getting shot so I know there's a team directly around me here so I'm just gonna play this quite slow so you'll see as soon as I kill that guy I assume there's a whole team of three and I'm getting away from that situation because he's gonna be calling out to his teammates oh I've just been shot from that angle and they're gonna be checking the angle that part of the video I just cut, I just went into that, that room just to get some ammo and plates.
get an easy third party here. Just two teams fighting. <laughs> his teammate tried to jump down, he broke his legs. So was, I should have probably waited until that guy reds to get another kill there. Got a bit greedy. See a parachute come in, that's how I've seen as another person there. And I'm just getting lucky. I didn't anticipate someone being on that roof. Ends up going to the gulag. In the gulag, I think I get a jailbreak. Yeah, so I didn't get an opportunity to get two more kills here. So I'm straight back in. Then when I'm landing back in, I'm just seeing where my teammates are. And they're on the buy station. So I'm assuming that they killed the player that killed me. So instead of going for the loader, I'm just going to land straight back on my guns. into the second part of the gameplay where not much happened there and now we're just playing the edge of zone i'm trying to kill people any rotating him so i'm just getting the higher ground on these teams yeah again the key thing about when you're fighting multiple players by yourself is trying to get one pick get the first down and then look to play aggressive Right now, I'm just trying to hear out for footsteps, just understand where this guy might have gone. I can hear him in my building, but I don't want to jump down and give this um, high ground up. The reason I decided to go to this building, because I heard the player underneath me. I didn't want to jump down at him to be pre-aiming the angle where I was going to jump down. So I decided to just move building. And play this roof instead. I think my teammate drove the car to go and buy the teammate back, but I'm going to hold all these players coming out of circle. Just get loads of easy kills here. I think the key thing about Warzone 2 compared to Warzone 1, I think everyone knows, you can't run in and challenge multiple people at once and use a side cancel or a jump shot to try to outplay people. It's all about positioning. But, you know, I think some players find boring. I mean, I do find it sometimes it does slow the pace down a lot. But it's about putting yourself in positions where you know where people are going to be to try to get maximise the engagements in the game. And that's why I'm hoping they revert the um, amount of UAVs you can buy at a buy station. Because sometimes you go to a buy station, you're on a good pace game. And you can't, and the UAV is not available. So it stops you from being able to play positions because you don't know where people are on the map. You can have a good guess. But the map's so big, it's sometimes it's impossible to guess where people are going to be. So I'm just waiting this out because I thought there might be another player in that building. You might have a gas mask. So before I move, I always ping the location of the circle where I can use as a head glitch. I mean, this is not the best part of the circle to be on. The other team who've got the high ground on that roof have, have the better side of the circle. So when you're in the worst position of the team, you just got to play your life and just try to play head glitches. And in my previous video, what I said is you're trying to waste the other team's utility. Get shots down and waste their plates. Do anything you can. Use your kill streak. Save your utility for endgame. Where you can cause the most damage to the other team if they've got a better position on you.
there's not much I can do yet, so I'm just lying down. I'm going to wait until the, I can make a move to the car in front of me as my next head glitch. So right now, I'm going to start taking the plates off his team on the roof. I'm going to pop in and out of cover. Luckily, I can get the down on him. And when I'm peeking his car, I'm looking for the next head glitch I can go to. And I can see that wall. So I've already made up my mind I'm going to play that wall as my, as my next um, position of cover. I make a mistake here. I'll get really greedy and I get we both get in each other's way. This is a random teammate. did not hear this guy at all. There needs to be some sort of sound cue on people crouch walking. Even if it's the, the smallest of sounds, but right now it's completely silent. So here I'll get a bit greedy. We both get in each other's way there. And then we get the win. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, yeah, it got a little bit chaotic there in um, the end game, but um, I think I finished with 12 kills and I think I will show up on the scoreboard in just a second. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of the gameplay. Um, let me know any parts of the gameplay where you thought I could have done better, maximise my kills. And also let me know in the comments any future videos you want me to do. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.